Hi guys and welcome to the AFIT. Our knees are probably the most active joints in the body that people most often complain about arches and pain. Our knees are crucial since they bear the most of the body weight and critical in the simplest daily activities such as walking, climbing up the stairs, sitting down and standing up. There are many different reasons that can create our knee discomfort, including osteoarthritis, aging, excessive impact, and intense exercises. But the good news, you can prevent all these issues by combining the balanced diet and proper exercise routine. In today's video, I will show you 10 simple but very effective exercises that can help to build strong and flexible muscles and joints around the knee that can resist strain and injury. But before we begin, I want to ask you, if you enjoy this video, please support my channel by clicking this like button and subscribe and I can promise you two new full-length video and several short every single week. All right, let's begin and we will start with a short warm-up. Let's start our warm-up with butt kickers. Stand up straight with your legs slightly wider than your hips. Bring one heel off the floor toward your glutes and repeat this movement on the other side. This exercise can be a good warm-up choice because it gets the knee joint moving and loosened up before you perform exercises and could help prevent injuries. Next exercise, it's a knee extension. This exercise targets the front thigh muscles or your quadriceps. It can help to stretch in your knee and reduce the pain from arthritis. Hamstring curl in prone position. Lie flat on your stomach, lift the leg off the floor and slowly bring your heel as close to your butt as you can. If this becomes easy, you can add ankle weights. Let's do 10 repetitions on each side. And now we come to the main part of our program. Elastic band is optional here, but it will give more resistance to our workout, so use it if you have it. Clump shell. Place resistant band around legs just above the knee. Lie on your side with knees bent and ankles, knees and hips stacked. Rest your head on your hand and keeping your heels together, rotate your hip up as much as possible. Glute bridge. This exercise can help you strengthen the hamstring, quads and gluteal muscles. One of the best ways to prevent knee pain is by strengthening the muscles that support the knee joint. Your knees should be about shoulder width apart, feet flat on the ground. And be careful not to arch your back as you lift your hips as high as possible.
Glute bridge with knee opening. Keep your hips raised and your glutes activated. Start opening your knees outward and draw your knees inward for the next 30 seconds. Next is a donkey kick. Start on all fours with the wrist on the shoulders, knees on the hips, toes tucked and back flat. While keeping knee bent, lift your heel up as if to stamp your footprint on the ceiling. Return to the starting position. Let's move to the bird dog. Start on all fours again with the wrist on the shoulders, knees on the hips and flat back. Extend right arm and left leg straight out until they are parallel to the floor. Maintain a flat back, level hips and focus on pulling your belly button toward your spine. And now we rise to our feet for lateral walk. Place a band around ankles and lower into micro squat. Then take three steps to the side and make sure your knees are bent as you step in a half squat position. Continue walking for 30 seconds. Half squat. First you need to stand apart and bend the knees slowly until you are in a half sitting position. Make sure to keep your chest lifted and back straight. Do not lean forward. Half squat is a popular exercise that many people often do in the gym. It can help you stretch a muscle group on the back and front of your thighs and glutes. Next, it's a split squat. Get into staggered stance with one foot positioned several feet in front of the other. Brace your core and bend both knees to lower your body into lunge until your front thigh is parallel to the floor. Make sure to keep your core tight, spine straight and shoulders back. Push through the heel of your front foot as you stretch in the knee and return to standing. Thank you. 
complete your last lunge and on the next one freeze in the lunge position for 30 seconds. Isometric lunge hold. This exercise strengthens the quadriceps muscles like nothing else. Ball sit. It's a great exercise to strengthen your quadriceps, which play an important role in absorbing shock from daily activities such as running, jumping or even walking. To increase the effectiveness of this exercise, you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell or any heavy object. Next, it's a step up. For this exercise, please make sure that you use a very sturdy box or step or little chair. Step onto your box with your right foot, then follow with your left foot. As you step, focus on using the foot on the box to lift yourself up, rather than pushing off the floor with your trailing foot. And with control, return back to the floor. to stand. This exercise strengthens your lower body and helps you to maintain and improve your mobility. Bend a little at the knees to push hips towards the chair and lower the body to a seated position. The end goal is to do this exercise without using your hands. Full extension. Start by sitting in a chair with your legs lifted and knee bent to a 90 degree angle. And alternately begin to strengthen your legs while keeping your knees parallel to each other. 